Our big story tonight, how is your child feeling? A virus is now infecting hundreds of local youngsters and thousands nationwide. The sickness is filling up nearly every bed at Dayton Children's Hospital. New to 11, Kelly May is live to explain what it is and what parents should look out for. Kelly. Jack and Deb, the virus is like a much more intense version of the common cold. Infection specialists here tell me they've treated 300 kids for the virus since August 1st, and that's more than double what they saw this time last year. I couldn't sleep without my sound machine. It was a rough night for little Hayden Tressler. An ambulance rushed her to Dayton Children's Hospital Sunday because she couldn't breathe. It was scary for her. And she just really felt puny. 300 kids have come through Dayton Children's ER with symptoms like Hayden's. The virus, possibly HEV 68, is showing up in large outbreaks across the Midwest. We don't always know um, what the exact um, viruses, but it doesn't really matter because we're still going to treat the kids the same way based on their symptoms. The hospital doesn't know why the virus outbreak is happening here and now, but they do know it's mostly affecting school aged children and they know how it's spreading. What we call droplet or contact, so being around other kids, especially if they're coughing, you know, touching them, kissing um, on the mouth, sharing drinks. Symptoms are similar to the common cold, coughing, congestion, fever, but most concerning. Difficulty breathing, wheezing, um, retracting. That would be the kind of breathing where um, the kids work really hard to breathe and sometimes they even have to suck in at their ribs. The breathing was so you know, she could not catch her breath. There is no drug to treat or cure the virus. Hayden was given breathing treatments in the ambulance and here at the hospital. Today, she's being released. I feel worse this morning than I was good today. Because of the volume of patients they're seeing, Dayton Children's says if you do bring your kids here to the ER, you may have to wait, but you should still do though if they have any of those breathing symptoms. Also, washing your hands and covering your mouth when you sneeze and cough is some good tips to pass on to your kids about making sure this virus doesn't spread. Live in Dayton tonight, Kelly May, ABC 22 News.